Concord and Ninth. What can you say? They're great. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I am sharing yet another Stamptember exclusive featuring stamps from Concord and Knight. As you know, when these are gone, baby, they're gone. So if you love them, check them out. And in the meantime, stick around. My card project is coming up next. Here is the Stamptember exclusive for Concord and Ninth, And this is called Festive Flower and it's beautiful. And the thing that I love, look at the back. It's got a guide. And so here's what I did. I have all the colors. I have all the ink. So I got my poppy, my cranberry, my buttercup, my stardust, my avocado, and my artichoke. Now here's the thing. You don't have to have all the Concord and Ninth inks, but this guide lets you go through and it shows you the formula and how they go together. Now I'm sure there are also coordinating dies available. I do not have them, so I am going to make the most simple little holiday card. Well, am I going to do holiday? No, I'm going to turn it into a thank you card. That's what I'm going to do, but this could be holiday as well. So Let's get started with stamping. I've got a piece of the Concord and Ninth white cardstock and let me open this up. I'm going to take the big bloom out and these are also numbered on the sheet. I'm going to bring it more over to this side. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I, I think I have an idea. Well, you never know. <laughs> You never know, but we're going to start with the first layer, which is going to be in the poppy and I'm hanging it. Oh, it's very sticky on purpose, right? Because we are, well, we're going to build a bloom. Let me rub my finger over this. I'll not record this because it's going to sound squeaky, but this, you just want to get a little cloudy for the first stamping. I'm going to keep this handy for the whole, the whole shebang. That's what we do. All right, I'm going to take my poppy red and this is going to be the first layer. So I'm going to ink my stamp up. Oh yes, look at that color. Ooh, bringing it down and I'm going to transfer the ink. Now I'm going to use my little Stampin' Bug here. It just lets me transfer and feels really good on the wrists. We'll see. Brand new stamp sometimes does require that but it might be good just as is. Oh, looks like I could get a little more from there. Oh, that is really pretty. I think I'm going to do just a light tap. Well, I mean, I'm going to, you know, cover it. I, this red is just a really bold color. Coming down and press. All right. And this red is probably going to stain my stamp a little, and that's okay. It just happens with deep reds and colors like this. For example, underneath too, there's a little bit on my mat, and I bet that is going to leave a little, leave a little stain. Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, it's clean. It's cleaning right off. Ignore me. We'll move on to the next stamp. Now we're going to go A2, and I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift it just like I lifted this one so that I know this is how it goes on. That is not how it goes on. Wait a second. Let's see here. Oh, Kathy. Oh boy. Okay. I got to think about this because I don't know. Oh, there, is there an arrow on here? I'm a little confused. Oh, no, no, no. No, yes, no, oh, that's right. Okay, here we go. There we go. Just line up the center. Pick this up and go ahead and prime. Now I'm going to bring in the cranberry, which is our darker color. And Concord and Ninth inks are dye inks, so they're water-based. They dry pretty quickly. You might wanna wait just a couple seconds in between, like I've got you know, a minute here where I got everything set up just to make sure that you don't get any feathering, but typically it's not going to do that. So we're, we're going to work with our detail layer now, and this is the cranberry. And I'm going to stamp this probably twice just to really get that nice and deep. Bring that in like that. Again, part of the reason I love my Misty tool. Yeah, 
and we'll be fine because it lets me stamp in the same place every time. All right. That is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful depth of the floral. All right, I'll get this clean. Oh, let me, let me press that a little. I think I'm not getting enough pressure. I think that's great. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and move on to the center of the flower. Now I've got my little bit, center number one. I think this one is called A3. And this one is going to be in the buttercup. And actually I brought out my cubes for this because they're just such tiny stamps and I tend to get ink all over. So we'll go buttercup here, fill that in the center, and give that a nice little boost. And then a little extra bit of detail, and I'm not even really worried how this gets lined up because I feel like it can just be wherever you want it to be and it's gonna look great. And again, for this one, I brought my cube of Stardust ink cup and detail. Oh, that's cute. It just gives a little layer of extra texture to the center of the floral. And that looks great. Now I need to come up with an arrangement for the leaves. I'm actually going to fussy cut just this. I'm not worried about here because I still want my design to be off to the side, but I'm gonna take some scissors and cut this out really quick because I think that will be easy to cut and then it will actually work with what I think I'm gonna do. Let me cut this out and I'll be right back. So I think I did pretty good on my fussy cutting and now I'm still gonna do this sort of off to the side design that might get trimmed a little more. But what I'm going to do is take some greenery. Now, I don't want to be super flashy with my greenery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few of these and stamp them down. Now I'm gonna pick that up so I can do both of these. I think I'll just do them both in avocado for now. I could, let's see how this looks first. Okay, like that. Well, that's pretty. But you know what I could do? Let me get, I'm gonna deepen this one up with, well, I, I don't know if I can get in there. Can I get in there? I actually do have a cube of this just going to add a little more depth of color like that. There we go. I'm just using these two because I think they're going to look good. <laughs> That's always the plan. But I'm keep I think I'm going to keep this very simple. 5 minutes later. All right, I decided that I can layer this together. I'm going to add a little more depth to this by coming in with another color. I'm going to do parsley. I don't know. I might be getting too many greens going here, but uh, I was looking at the picture. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They are using them multiply or they're layering them together. So I'm going to do that together just to get a little more of, yes, that. That's what I'm looking for. It's a little more of that. Having it be offset is fine. It's just going to make it a little more greeny, right? Get you in there like that. There we go. Let me just stamp a few more as they can literally be laid on top of each other, which just took me a minute to figure out. Great. Okay, and now as we come in, oh yeah, that's much more naturey. Okay. Now let me figure out the greeting. So for my greeting, I am going to just put thank you so much right here and I'm going to emboss it in gold. So I have to find some gold. I think this placement looks really nice. So you're coming up. You are going to get picked up like that. I'm going to use Simon's Stamp Ultra Fine Antique Gold because it's a nice warm color. And I'm going to use a good amount of anti-static powder, uh, 
it, I don't want it to stick to the inks here, but also I can just brush that away. So let's prime this friend up. It's very delicate. And because of that, I'm going to use my dryer embossing pad. It's not as juicy, and sometimes I switch to my Versamark pad just because I know it's not as inky. And with these delicates, sometimes that makes a difference. So I'm going to press this to transfer. And let me get my powder and we'll sprinkle it on. And we'll just sprinkle you on. Oh, that's gonna look great. Such a cute little greeting. I love the typography. Okay, just gonna brush over that to make sure. And I'll warm up my heat tool here and we'll melt the powder. Mm. Oh, that looks so good, I love it. So now you can see I have that. My floral is gonna go in its little spot. Now, I'm kind of on a gold spatter kick, so I'm going to, let me trim this down first. I want to cut it down just a little, so let me grab a die to cut that out. I'm going to use one of my layers dies to cut this down just a little, and it will also help to flatten it while I run it through the die cut machine. Go ahead and cut that out. Because I'm in a splatter slash spatter phase, I'm going to use Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment and Gilded. And I'm going to put some lovely gold spatters onto my card. So I'll squeeze some out. That's probably more than I'll ever need. I'm going to take my fan brush. I usually wet it down just a little, just so it's the bristles are sort of not all clumped together. And we pick up the gold. Do you can see where I tap off the first part, and then. We just, we're just gonna go kind of up at an angle like that. That's it, that's all I want. Maybe a little more there. And now I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna put this on a poppy red note card. Now I usually go neutral and go white, but I think this would be really pretty. So that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be bold. All right, so this is the Concord and Ninth poppy. And then I need to get some foam tape on the back of this. And I'll pop this down onto the note card. Like that. All right, now I think I'm going to have to trim a little bit more off of my flower because of how I cut this. So I'm just gonna flip it and just cut it straight on the line like that. Just one, one fell swoop snip. Oh yeah. It's going to go right there. <laughs> Love it. Oh, oh, and there's a, there's a little guy who wants on the card. We'll have to see about you. As a crafter, do you ever find sequins in strange places? I do. <laughs> Let me know in the comments the strangest place. I found one in my coffee once. That was, uh, that was, that was unpleasant. Um, let me get a little liquid glue. And I didn't see it till the very end. So, you know, I could have swallowed that. A sequin would have been part of me, at least for a while. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to, well, you know what? I think I'm just gonna, let me see here. This is pretty easy to line up. I don't think I need my ruler. Just butt it right up against the edge there and Drop it down. Oh, that's so cute. Love it. I love it. And I love the elegant greeting. Elegant. Elegant. That's delicate and elegant combined. But I will show you this. Okay. I pulled out some satin gold pearls. Now in each set, there are some really tiny ones. I wish, I wish there were more tiny tinies, but this is the small. I think that's really pretty. Um, is it needed? You know, what does that ever stop me? You know what? Unfortunately, if I'm really looking at this with a critical eye, and sometimes I just dump all of these out, I think it needs the shinier gold. 
if I'm going to do this, it needs to be shiny. All right, you know what? I'm going to go shiny. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to push you three or do do one at a time, get them a little close together like a cluster, and we're going to boop those on. So, boop. You come out there, there, and we'll just go here and here. So they're all clustered together. I think that's nice. It has to be shiny. It has to make the pickup from the greeting and the spatter. All right, boop. Sorry, I didn't make the noise. And that is the finished card project. I like how this turned out. It's very simple. There's a lot more in the set to play with, but for now, this card is done. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. Remember, this is a Stamp Timber exclusive, so once this set is sold out, it is gone for good. But hopefully you can take some of the ideas into future card projects. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you, so hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. There are a few more floral cards that I've created. I'm not really known for my florals, but these aren't bad. I'll see you in those videos.